So what we plan to do today is the delivery and retrieval of the cyto sponge. So that means we're going to swallow the pill and pull it back out. And the reason Jean is here for a procedure that up until recently she'd never heard of. A simple test involving a pill on a string. OK, open your mouth for me. Because she has a condition called Barrett's esophagus, she's more likely to develop gullet cancer. The old test was an endoscopy, which she used to find invasive and uncomfortable. Just look at this. This is only going to take half an hour. An hour, and you're back home. So if you just breathe through your nose, nice and relaxed, I'm going to pull the sponge out. Well done. After seven minutes, the pill is pulled out of the patient's stomach, where it's expanded into a spongy shape, providing a collection of cells to be sent off for testing. Here in Calderdale and Huddersfield, that's part of a push to integrate new technology into care, helping the trust meet a number of cancer targets. So when I take the x-ray, I'm going to call out for a nice big breath in. Another innovation introduced here is the use of artificial intelligence to assess chest x-rays. Healthy results are confirmed in seconds, while results that look like suspected lung cancer are immediately fast-tracked. If you take a nice big breath in for me there. Doing this doesn't replace radiologists, but it does help manage their workflow. It doesn't read a chest x-ray in the way that I would. It just looks at a whole picture, compares it to its own internal database, and comes up with a percentage chance that there's something on there that's worrying. And the reason we are removing that kidney is because there is a suspicion of cancer. One person who is meant to benefit from this cyber approach to cancer care was Bob, who is preparing for keyhole kidney surgery, done using a robot. You know, at one time they didn't, they did it in an, an open gallery with everybody watching, they didn't, didn't even put people to sleep. It's incredible how things have advanced. It really is. But what started as a case highlighting the power of technology became an example of how that technology does have its limits. Because of Bob's previous surgeries, the decision was taken to perform a conventional operation to avoid complications. Later that day, we did see the robot used to remove a cyst. Instead of surgeon and scalpel, this was man and machine. Controlled from the other side of the room, three robotic arms pushed and probed. Because this is a largely non-invasive procedure, recovery times are shorter freeing up hospital beds and resources. Okay. We've just seen the surgical robot in action in an incredibly intricate procedure, but actually one of the main things we learned today is that even as technology advances, there is no substitute for human judgment and human decisions. In a healthcare system struggling, this hospital has shown embracing the rise of the robot can help provide some solutions. Shingi Marike, Sky News, Huddersfield Royal Infirmary.